So today we're going to the Cahuita National Park. Um, it's a coastal national park. I've heard it's one of the better ones in Costa Rica. So we're really excited. We went to the beach the other day in the national park and saw two slots. So hoping to see maybe some howler monkeys. Um, Hopefully some toucans and probably two beaches. We're also hoping, hoping to find some snorkel gear to rent so that we can go snorkeling, but we're not sure about that. We just entered the park. We're walking along. It's kind of like a little boardwalk type deal, what mm -hmm. you say? Yeah. And um, just gonna see what the park has to offer. Hopefully we can just piggyback on a tour and see where <laughs> yeah. they're pointing up. Yeah, one of the nice things about this park is it's not mandatory to pay to get in. It's a voluntary donation. Is it? You think he's used to people? Oh, uh, you think? <laughs> you know what I have to say about raccoons? F raccoons. Aaron wants to shoot it right now. F raccoons. I hate raccoons because on our first house flip, on my 26th, 27th, I don't know, 27th birthday, I went up in the attic of that first house and there was a bunch of raccoon poop everywhere and I had to shovel it out and clean it all up. So F some raccoons. I thought it was cute. Uh oh. <laughs> that just came flying down from the monkey up there. There's a white-faced monkey up there and he threw this down at us. Blue sky, tree, leaves, lots of leaves. The sun. Ma, 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 Hilburn hollers. What is it just like the, the battle cry? <laughs> <laughs> just like go for his eyes. Gonads, not eyes. They go for the eyes. Yeah. Gonads and fingers, apparently. Sixty percent of the fauna in Costa Rica can be found on the Caribbean side, where we are, and seventy-five percent of their birds. Uh, some species that habitate this park. Uh, there's a puma. There's monkeys. 
There's four different types of endangered turtles that nest on these beaches and the fair to lance or fear to lance not really sure but um, it's one of the most venomous snakes in this part of the world Crocodiles, cool. I'll stay facing this way. Today we were at the very end of the time that we should be here and it's only $15 to go snorkeling in the coral reefs in the park. $15 per person, so pretty excited about that. Let's go check out these corals. <laughs> Wikipedia, the marine area of Kuita National Park covers 55,200 acres. Luckily, February through April typically have the best underwater visibility. The 600 acre reef is known to have at least 35 species of coral, 140 species of mollusks, 44 species of crustaceans, and 123 species of fish. The outer reef is about four kilometers long.
So this here is a nurse shark. They can be found pretty much all over the world in tropical and subtropical coastal waters. One thing that's interesting about a nurse shark is that they are exceptionally sedentary. They are called the couch potato of the shark world. Very much so. Probably the best thing about today, uh, after we reached our turnaround point, we were heading back and ran into some people that were uh, doing snorkeling trips. They'd already had like three or four people booked for their for this that boat, so they offered us $25 on the way out. And on the way back in, they offered $15 a person. So we went out with them for probably about an hour and uh, saw some uh, really cool fish. Saw uh, a North Shark. So we got to swim with a shark, which sea is pretty urchin. neat. You'll see some video of that. Sea urchin, a uh, big red snapper, and it was all for 30 bucks, $15 per person. So uh, it pays to... Uh, to be late. <laughs> yeah, it pay, yeah. pays um, to run late. <laughs> it's one of the things about travel. Sometimes the the best things are the unexpected. It's, it's, we didn't know we were gonna go snorkeling today. and. Had a great had a great time and i think we're gonna go get some uh drink a couple cold beers to to celebrate <laughs> cheers here's to a uh wonderful day in the caribbean hope you all enjoy the footage today was easily my favorite day in costa rica so far going through the national park seeing all of the great animals that we're not used to seeing and then going snorkeling unexpectedly was really fantastic. I am um, really excited what's to come still on this trip. I had a great day. All right, so we've seen so we've seen the monkeys. We've seen the sloth. Now we need some iguanas, some toucans, and uh, whatever that thing is. Another a squirrel. Uh, wait, what am I saying? Oh.